Bruce! I'm... I'm fine. Really. You are not fine, Bruce. <laughs> None of this is fine. You were nearly killed tonight. Those minutes of silence, waiting for you to respond, they were the worst of my life. But I didn't know if you were alive or dead, or if... if I would ever see you again. I'm so sorry to put you through that, Hal. You'll just do it again tomorrow? We already lost Lucius. I couldn't bear losing you, too. Uh, uh, we... we can talk about all this later. Come on now. Let's get you patched up. As if he wasn't bad enough, now Director Waller knows your identity. That information in her hands? Waller isn't the one we need to worry about. Bane is still on the loose, with enough guns to arm a small militia. Oh, I... I understand. The man died for you tonight, Bruce. Tried to save you from that monstrosity. Too many have died. In too short a time. The cost of this war, it just continues to rise. I need your strength right now. Of course. Sorry for not being my resolute self. We've never gone up against anyone able to cause you so much harm. Waller was right about one thing. Riddler was just a small part of a larger threat. Let's begin with the dart I pulled from his neck. Got it? I'm good. Thanks, Al. Huh. There's still some toxin left in here. What kind of toxin? Something new. There's a whole series of powerful psychoactive meds in this cocktail. Drugs that are lethal when combined. Who could have come up with such a good concoction? And did the same person pull the trigger? Bane's attack was one of three tonight, all at the same time. Let's bring him up, get an assessment of the damage. Gothcorp Labs, genetic research facility. Where do we even start with this? Yes, I have no idea. Authorities can't determine what was even stolen until all of that melts. At least 20 dead, some completely encased in ice. The others were frozen solid. Some of their limbs shattered as they fled. Waller's intel shows that the thieves made off with numerous pieces of equipment used in the storage and transportation of biological material. I don't even want to think what they'd want that for. No IDs on any suspects, though. Security cameras frozen. All witnesses dead. Gotham brokerage. Ten million in diamonds stolen. Some safety deposit boxes emptied. Contents unknown. Over a dozen dead, and even more wounded. Mostly by gunshot, though some victims had their heads smashed in. Oh, that's barbaric. Witnesses place Harleen Quinzel at the scene, dressed up as a clown and wielding a mallet. Don't ask me. Riddler's friends are as insane and gruesome as he was. Perhaps even more. Those same witnesses say that she acted alone. All that carnage. All by herself.
Guns, money, biotech. What are they planning? We won't know until we get to Bane. I don't mean to cause offense, but you're in no shape to beat the information out of that monster. Or take on his friends, if it comes to it. We've already seen how formidable Bane is on his own. Taking on all of them, that would be suicide in your current condition. Of course I could use help. But both the GCPD and the Agency are stretched thin. One thing's for sure. We can't just wait around for Bane to strike again. The death toll is already too high. You told Waller you knew when to be Batman and when to be Bruce. Riddler said his friends abandoned him at the Lady of Dublin. He alluded to the fact that John Doe was one of them. If that's the case, then John can get you close to the others. He already wants you to meet them. John Doe might be your best chance of getting inside, finding out what they're up to. I'll have to repay John's trust with betrayal. You wouldn't have to betray him if he didn't associate with criminals. It'll be dangerous approaching Bane and his people this way. I'll be suspicious of anyone who isn't a proven criminal. You'll have to give the performance of a lifetime to pull the wool over their eyes. Bruce Wayne has influence, an endless bank account, and as of last year, questionable integrity. Everything a criminal network looks for in a new recruit. So that's it then. I find John Doe and accept his offer. Hopefully the invitation is still open. Good thing you hid that tracking device on him when you had the chance. The stack deck. That's where he is. I suppose you couldn't wait an hour or two while you rest. Not a chance. Batman? I'll tell you about Batman. He's no hero. The way I see it, he's just a bunch of hired muscle for rich guys. Guys like Bruce Wayne. I see. Lily, tell Bruce Wayne how that makes you feel. Dude, okay. It feels... No, Willie, he's on your right. Feels like crap, Wayne. Preach! And you're just a huge, colossal, gigantic, spoiled piece of sh Oh, uh, <laughs> I am. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, uh. I'm gonna ignore what I heard. No harm done. <laughs> you set me up. Nonsense! Bruce! Uh, uh, don't mind, Willie. We're just messing with you. You look like you could use a drink. Hey, John. What about my medicine? Bottles under my chair. I, uh, I run a therapy circle here every second Sunday. These people need the expertise that I learned in Arkham. A tracker, Bruce? Really? I gotta say, I'm disappointed. I thought we'd built more trust between us. I'm sorry, John. All I could think of was getting to Riddler. You were my best chance. I... I should have just... Waited for me to get back to you? Like I said I would? Hey, I said I was sorry. It's rude, duplicitous, and kind of stalkery. But I understand. All is forgiven. So... Know it all really got what was coming to him. 
Authorities are refusing to comment on the death of the mysterious criminal known as Riddler. Who am I? Who am I? You're a rotting, stinking corpse. That's who you are. <laughs> John, did you have anything to do with the Riddler's death? I mean, I hated the guy, but geez, Bruce. You really think I'd be capable of cold-blooded murder? After everything you know about me, you really think I'd do that? No, 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 of course not. I mean, I know you hated him, but you're no killer. What was I thinking? Uh, I know what you were thinking. But hey, no harm done. Anyway. I was a little surprised to see you, Bruce. I'm guessing this is about that favor I asked. As I recall, you had some reluctance. I've been thinking, and I changed my mind. I'd like to meet them now. Really? You seem pretty against it at the church. Why the sudden change of heart? It's odd doesn't seem like you. After Lucius's funeral, I realized you only get one life. I gotta make the most of it. I need some excitement. Oh, Bruce, believe me, I can relate. In Arkham, excitement of any kind was seriously frowned on. Look, before we get into that, I need to come clean. Riddler was more connected to my friends than I'd let on at the funeral. Riddler? Really? Yeah, he was kind of our leader, but he was just so bad at it and so intolerably annoying. I, I thought he'd be out of the picture by the time you came around. I should have told you. I just I didn't want you to think we were all like him. No secrets between us, ever again. You have my word. I pinky swear. <sighs> pinky swear. Friends for life. <laughs> Friends don't plant tracking gadgets on each other. You've got my number. All right, let's go meet the guys. I'll let them know we're on our way. Hey! I'm out of medicine. I don't like your face. I think you're bothering my friend John. You've got the wrong idea. We're just having a friendly chat. You calling me a liar? Shouldn't have walked in here. <laughs> that was your first mistake. Then it's gonna be your last mistake. Kiss your ass goodbye! Calm down, Willie. Let me help you out, huh? A bribe? I can't be bought off that easy, Wayne. Don't insult me. I got standards. I don't take bribes. This cash could buy you a whole lot of medicine. Oh, well, when you, when you put it that way. Thanks, Wayne. Let's get out of here. <laughs>